Hey guys, it's Coding Tuts. Welcome back to the fourth part of the series uh, called Airbnb V2.0. Um, I know it's been a while, but before we begin this video, I want to thank uh, Hao Ming Chen so much for being so generous. Like he's literally one of the most generous people I know for the for donating two hundred dollars um, to me, which will go directly to this channel. So um, I've, I'm actually working on new vision, you know, no, new type of videos. And this will really, really help me a lot. So, um, new vision coming soon, I promise. Uh, but yeah, so Chinese people are awesome. Literally the best. Thank you so much. Um, Helming, uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so now on to the video. Um, well, first I actually have to explain where I've been because I haven't, I, the last video I made was two months ago and the last episode from the series was four months ago. So actually after I recorded that episode, I started uh, really focusing on school because, you know, the finals and everything. Uh, then summer started, I was first on a cruise to the Baltic capitals and then I flew to America for a month and a half. I just got back uh, and I'm ready to start this whole YouTube thing again. So. This is the 14th part, I believe, and let's continue. So, let's see where we left things off. So, we have this Airbnb.com, and this, there, is, there is our site. Um, you know, we have to change the moto, and then we also need to change the logo, because they removed the Airbnb, I guess. And then here, they upgraded, I mean, they uh, updated it to bolder text, which we will make... And here we're just going to put little thumbnails, nothing special. But yeah, you know, um, we're also going to have to create... Well, before there was something like Book Now, or I forgot what it was, but they don't have that menu anymore. So I guess we're just going to create the footer and we're going to be done. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is this moto. Alright, let's change it. So there's a break after Airbnb, and then there's a break after A. So we're going to go into our HTML, there's our moto, Airbnb, and we're going to put a break. And then here after the A, well, like a local, yeah. And then after this A, there is a break. So let's put a little space, not that it matters, but I just like to keep things nice. Actually, let's do it how it's, uh, it should look like. So like this, and then, okay, you know, just ordering things up. Okay, there we go. Break, and the last final break. All right, now let's uh, refresh. And yeah, um, I think it's a little bit smaller, although, I think everything looks a lot smaller, but I think I like my version better. And, you know, you can always adjust those little things like one or two pixels of the size of the font. You know, I'm just showing you in general how to uh, copy the style. All right. Now, as we agreed, we won't be doing this because it's just no need. You can literally download a library if you, if you want. Uh, oops. And yeah, let's go back to Airbnb.com. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Okay. Um, great, so now that we fixed this, we need to fix the logo, but that's just an image right here. Actually, no, it's a, what is it, an SVG? Oh, we just copied it. Okay, you know what? You know what we can do? We can basically just... Can we? No, okay, that's an SVG, and we can't copy the code, okay? Well, you know what? We'll find one later. Now let's focus on a little more... Uh, a little bit more important things like these titles okay let's see what they are so experiences you know what actually let me just post this uh in the last video we created like a bunch of these rows so we're actually gonna remove them okay uh we're just gonna leave one and then we're gonna uh basically copy i mean paste them okay like this so we should just have just booked. And then where is the margin bottom? I don't margin bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't want that. There we go. 
Well, actually, fine. <laughs> Let's leave it. Um, we do want it. <laughs> All right. Uh, perfect. So let's see what it is. It is the Fawn family. We don't have it exactly, but we're getting closer. Um, I just want to see the size of it. All right. So the font size is thirty pixels. Okay, and then color is four eight four eight four eight, and the font weight is seven hundred. Let me see what font weight we have. So we have font weight seven hundred. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, where is that? Just booked. So, GS title. GS title. We're searching for GS title. Okay, font weight. 700. Font size. Was it 32, I believe? 32 pixels. So, yep. Cool. Um, Let's change it to experiences. So, let me just copy it. Okay. Oh, my cat is meowing at the door. It wants me to open. I'll be right back, guys. I promise. Extreme sorry for that. Um, hope it doesn't happen again. Are you listening, cat? <laughs> um, okay. So we're what are we doing? Experiences. Yeah. Let's change that to experience. Uh, no, my cat is stepping on my keyboard. Great. Okay. Ah, uh, all over experiences all right did i spell that right doesn't matter you know what it doesn't really look um that different but i don't know i guess i'll take it uh i don't know um i think the letter spacing is a little bit you know um more <laughs> than this but it's a little bit bigger so let's do something like letter spacing. What's the default that we put? Oh, we did it. Okay. Uh, I, actually, I forgot what the default value. Um, so let's say like 1.6 pixels. Mm, 1.2 maybe. Um. Mm. I, I really hate those things because, you know, you can't really, oh, why did I refresh that? You can't really tell, uh, but I think that looks good, okay? Well, actually, let's see before the letter spacing and then after. Oh, there is a difference, actually, and there, there's a big difference. All right, so letter spacing one pixel, basically, all right? Uh, now, we can see here that there's a C all. I just want to see the size of it. Font size 14 pixels. And then, do we have icons? Uh, Roboto. Ion icons. Yes. So we can go over here. And I'm going to copy that carrot, was it called? I don't remember. Um, or we can just find it like this. So it is this one. Oh, Chevron is what they call it here. All right. We have copy that. Now we're gonna go into our HTML, find the title, and what are we gonna do? Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I get really sleepy when I start programming. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a spin. We're gonna give it a class of GS title. What should it say? It's the all. Yes, C all, and then oh, oh boy. See, oh, and then we're gonna create something like a nine class of this, and then close the eye, and then close the span. See y'all. Okay. Um, looks good. Okay, so that and that's what we're gonna do now. Actually, what we're gonna do now is go to our CSS and say. Yes, title C. Oh no, uh, C all. Uh, then what was it? Font size fourteen pixels. What was the font weight? I I believe it was something like two hundred or three hundred. Mm. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. 
All right, but we do have imported. Oh my God, what is happening? Um, four hundred and seven hundred. Oops, nope, my mistake. So let's say font font weight uh three hundred. All right, let's try four hundred again. I it's really hard to tell. Wait, do you even have? Do you even use three hundred anywhere in the moto? Really? Yeah, I guess. But in the GS title, see all. I think we're gonna use three four hundred because with three hundred it looks really thin. Uh, and I think four hundred is a little bit closer to the original. All right, now what we're gonna do now is DS. We're gonna tar uh, target the uh, the icon by saying I, you know, because we put it in an I tag, and we're gonna say margin uh, left fifteen pixels. Oh, that's a lot. Mm, five pixels. We don't need this anymore. Okay, uh, we can't say font weight 300 though, right? Yeah, we can't. No, but we can say font size 12 pixels. Okay, 13. Yep, okay. Um... I guess that's pretty nice. Oh, wait, I forgot it was a link. Yeah, uh, it's really no worry. We're just gonna do A H R E F equals. Right, let's just put it to a hashtag. Uh, I mean, whatever it is. Um. Okay, now we're actually gonna have to do uh link. And I'm basically gonna say, what was the color though? <sighs> I think the color was like 48, 48, 48, but it might not be the same. Yeah, it is actually. Okay, and then color 48, 48, 48. And I'm basically just gonna copy this and do GS title, see all visited, and then GS. Title, see all. Um, hover, there's no effect. Yeah, okay. Well, that's all we need. Now let's refresh and great, we can click it. Now actually, let's do JavaScript void zero because I guess we've done it, we've put it everywhere and it doesn't make any sense to uh, put hashtag. So JavaScript void zero. Continue. Okay, great. Nothing happens when you click click it, but you can click it and you can put whatever link you want. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give this a float of uh, right, and then this I'm gonna float it to the left. Yeah. Um, we should have put it in a container, so I'm gonna say div class GS title container, and then we're gonna indent that a little bit, close the div. And then we also need to give it a cl actually, we'll, we'll hold on for a little bit, um, with the clear fix. So let's copy this position. Oh, god. Position relative with 100% height. Uh, uh, you know what? We actually don't need it. We, we totally don't need that. All we need to do is just write clear fix. Yeah, there we go. Okay, why does it think that I have some sort of form? Okay, fine. Okay, good. Um, how are we gonna align that though? Because I I pretty much floated it. Uh, but it's not. What if we uh float right? 
as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. Um, well, let's see. Oh, uh, what is this? Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, no, my Spotify. Oops. Um, if you give this a display of inline block. Uh, let me clear the cache. No, then what if we do inline block of here as well? Clear cache again. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, fine. Um, look, so what can we do to align it? You know, it's a bit of a headache. That was the yeah, other snaps. Oh my god, what is happening? Why isn't it aligning? Okay. I'm gonna try something. Float right. Sorry for the awkward silence. It's um no eclipse. Uh, by the way, I started eclipse by accident, but Java videos may be coming soon. You know, I don't promise anything, but maybe. Okay. Um. Display light block. Oops. Block. And I'm gonna copy these. Paste it right here. Nope, nothing. Yeah, I just want to remove it. What if we don't float this at all? Will that work? No, it doesn't. That doesn't seem like it's moving, so that's not mo gonna move at all, you know. And it's only padding bottom, padding top. Oh, wait, um, let's give the same padding. I, I totally forgot about the paddings, and I'm really stupid that I didn't read it earlier. Huh, <laughs> great. Oh, yeah, well, let's change it to margin. Yeah, because when, when it's padding, you can actually click the link from here. When it's margin, um, you know, I should really show you an image, uh, the difference between padding and margin. Um, there's a huge difference, but I don't really know how to explain it. Well, actually, no, the margin is the, uh, the space between the border, you know, the, so actually, when you have a span, let me, let me explain this real quick, okay? Uh, when you have a when you have like whatever a paragraph or a div or whatever, so basically it's like this. So div, okay, and then whatever is inside here, okay. So, so these tags are, for example, your border because every tag has a border. You know, every element has a border in HTML, and for example, these clo opening and closing tags are your border. So the margin is the space between, uh, so the margin will be after the border. It will be the space between the border and the other content, for example, a different div, while the padding is actually the con the space between um, the, the border and the main content itself inside the element. The element. So I don't know if I explained it really good. I didn't actually. Um, excuse me, uh, but I don't, I'm not really a good teacher. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, so that worked. Cool. And the last thing, th the last thing that we're gonna do in this video is maybe create a little thumbnail. So, I really like this house, the tree house. It really looks nice. I actually even want to book it right now. Uh, with a beautiful pool. One hundred forty level per nine, which is about. 
eighty dollars per night. That's uh, really good. Okay, so let's copy the image. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> there's no image. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to find out one ourselves. So Airbnb Billion Treehouse. Okay, it looks a, a lot different, but you know this picture will do. Oh, that's yeah, that's really cool in Bali. Okay, so let's copy the image. And uh, what is this? DS div. Okay, so we're gonna go to DS div wherever that is, and we're gonna say background image URL and then post the URL inside oh what happened oh it's too long okay well actually yeah it is too long okay and then let's uh refresh okay cool and we're gonna say background size cover all right and then background position center center not that that will let you do anything but just oh, actually did it a little bit okay yeah I really like this um you can change you know you can add whatever you want uh, for the different classes uh, but let's put a little overlay should we no, let's leave it like that. So I, I actually kind of like it. Alright, <laughs> um, so now let's see what we have. So we have experiences, homes. There's a little text under each image. But is it really necessary for me to put it? I mean, it's really simple, you know. I just, uh, all you need to do is under, well, actually, I guess it's a little bit necessary. No, actually, it's not. You know, this is what you're going to do. If you want to add the text, you're just going to wrap every single div in a new div, like this. And then you're going to put the text in here. You know? So, I mean, you need to style it a little bit. You know, when you add it to everyone, it's going to work. So, let's go let's undo that there we go it's really simple it's just no need to make the tutorial even longer because it's already long enough and we've literally done absolutely nothing okay so let's copy it um how much do you have so one two three oh no no we're actually gonna put just like th just th three more i guess so two one two three Oh my god, I hate when this happens, so we are going to, oh, actually, yes. Uh, we maybe want to indent this. Okay, now let's try this again. Okay, why does it keep messing it up? Two more times. Actually, let's do. This is gonna be the last one, maybe. Oh, I put it too much times. Wait, how much time did I copy it? Whoa, something went wrong. One, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. So experiences. Then it's homes. And then it's featured destinations. Featured destinations. Featured destinations. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this tutorial. It was a really long tutorial and we did literally nothing basically. But, uh, I did do a little explaining, so, you know, we did hit 2,000 subscribers, which I totally forgot to thank you about, but I will do, I will be doing a special giveaway on that, probably, so stick around for that, um, but until then, hope you guys enjoyed, um, 
you know, I hope you actually found this useful. Oh, what? No, it's not aligned. <sighs> Why now? Why now? Okay, uh, let me just change it to padding, maybe. Let me just see if the padding does anything. Doesn't. Yeah, okay, we're gonna actually, uh... Oh, actually, we don't need the margin bottom. And then we're going to do uh, 60. Okay, uh, let's do 55. Oh, I really can't tell, though. Oh, am I blind? Because I really can't see... If it's a uh, line that actually I need a like rule or something, I'm just gonna leave it at 55. So, th yeah, that's that's all for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, one last thank you to Haoming Chen, uh, Chinese people are awesome. <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.